On December the 24th, China will host the eighth leaders' meeting with Japan and the Republic of Korea (ROK), the city of Chengdu, southwest China's Sichuan province. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang, President of the ROK Moon Jae-in, and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe are scheduled to meet. This is the third time for China to host this meeting. In 1999, state leaders from the three countries decided to build a future-oriented and comprehensive partnership in a breakfast meeting. Since then, the trilateral cooperation has achieved great results. The past 20 years saw continued improvements in the trilateral cooperation, which has developed into a framework with the leaders meeting at its core, supported by 21 ministerial meetings and over 70 dialogue mechanisms. The three countries have cemented their bond in areas such as economy and trade, finance, culture and tourism, media and education, shared development interests, connected cultural backgrounds, and growing trilateral trust have drawn people of the three countries closer. China, Japan, and the ROK have initiated an investment agreement. Now they are negotiating the trilateral free trade agreement and advancing the China-Japan ROK Plus X cooperation model. Trilateral trade has grown from 130 billion U.S. dollars to 720 billion U.S. dollars over the past 20 years, making them the most important trade partner to one another. China-Japan ROK cooperation has gained remarkable achievements thanks to the joint efforts from all three countries. The world is going through profound and unprecedented changes now, and global trade is beset by protectionism and unilateralism. As close neighbors and important partners, the three countries have reached broad consensus on multilateralism and economic globalization, and should work more closely to meet challenges together. This year marks the 20th anniversary of China-Japan ROK cooperation mechanism. Due to the good momentum of growing relations between China, Japan, and the ROK, the trilateral cooperation is embracing a new opportunity. Ahead of the eighth summit, we are expecting it to open a new chapter for the trilateral relationship and to play a more active role in enhancing both regional and international peace, stability, and prosperity.